Hey guys, Marley here, and I am back. After a two year long hiatus, here I am. I am going to start uploading on this channel again because like many of you, I am in quarantine, I am without my job, and I am very bored. So I'm playing a lot of Sims, and I just have more time to do this than I did. Um, if you'd like kind of a life update video talking about where I went for two years, my time at acting school, moving to the city, all of that, I would love to do it. But today, that is not what we were doing. Today, we are doing a my star sign chooses my build challenge i'm sure someone's already done it but i am doing it right now and i'm the only person that i've seen do it so if someone else did i'll definitely try and link them below but only like four people are going to watch this anyway so it doesn't really matter um and my star sign is sagittarius so what i did to prepare for this video is i went online and i basically just like pinterest googled sagittarius vibes and then I looked at all the pictures, like the compilations. A lot of them are like outfit vibes, but they do have some like room vibe ideas. Um, and then after I got like a good feel of it, you know, I did like the research, like reading like what are the traits and it's like outgoing and free spirited and um, like very just like go with the flow. Also a fire sign, so very passionate, stuff like that. And I really wanted to represent that with a lot of like outdoor living. I imagine, I mean, I'm a Sagittarius, but I don't really fit the stereotypes all that well. I'm kind of an introvert and um, I'm adventurous in some ways, but I'm really just a homebody. But I imagine like the typical Sagittarius type to be like a person who like only walks around barefoot and has like long free flowing hair and like stuff like that. So that's kind of the vibes I went with with this house. And then for the color palettes, I just Googled like Sagittarius color palette and I found a couple that I was using as reference that I'm going to have included in the screenshots at the end of this video. So I had a couple color palettes that I was using as reference. It was a lot of like blues, purples, a little bit of pink. Um, a few of them had like some red in it, but I think that the primary colors were like pastel blues and purples more than anything else. I think too, because I'm a Sagittarius and even though I don't put a lot of stock into astrology, I still have like a little bit of like, um, I don't know, like a personal attachment. So I'm like using this and I'm like, well, I don't like this, but does it fit the description? And I'm like, but I am the description. So how am I supposed to know? I think it would be fun to try to do some more research and do some of these builds on different signs. So if you think that that would be interesting, please let me know. I feel like it could be pretty interesting. I think that I'd be able to have a more objective approach to what I was doing because for this build, it was really just like, do I feel the vibes or not? Like, am I getting like that image in my head of what I picture a stereotypical Sagittarius person to be? And the answer is, I think it comes pretty close. It's, um, I, I didn't mean to go into this doing a tiny house and it's not built like a tiny house. So you don't need like the tiny living expansion pack, but I do think think that from what I'm researching that the Sagittarius would be more likely to have like a tiny or a more mobile home because they tend to be very unpredictable and so I think that someone who really likes change and adventure is going to be more likely to want to like move from place to place so it's going to be um maybe like a less permanent place to be and that's how I kind of wanted to build this also a little bit mix matched so I used um, the doors and windows from Realm of Magic, but I used a lot of furniture from Movie Hangout because that really gave me that like free-spirited vibe I was going for. I know for a fact I used the curtains. A few of the, cur the curtains have perfect color swatches for this, like literally matching my palettes that I found exactly. Most of the plants I used were from Romantic Garden stuff. Again, they just like matched the color palette. But I still think that that's fitting because like romantic garden stuff, like romantic, whimsical people, you know. And let me tell you guys, this video was hell on earth to get recorded. I have been trying to get my OBS to work for, I don't know, five days, but I've probably put in at least 16 hours into it just like researching. And I'm like, how can I change my settings? How can I make it not be choppy? Because I was, I've recorded three videos already and they all came out at like 10 FPS, even though OBS was telling me that they were recording at like 30 to 60. And so at this point I was ready to give up. I was done. I had posted on all the forums. I had gotten like all the advice I could get. 
And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to turn on my OBS and try one more time. And instead of setting up a window record, I put it on display capture and it worked. It was beautiful. There's no lag. It's not choppy. It looks fine. I did turn um, like earlier in my process of trying to get this to work. I turned down all of the graphic settings on The Sims 4 to make it easier for my CPU to run, but I don't necessarily think I need to. I was only using like 20% of my CPU at this point, so I think that I could turn the graphics up for other videos if I wanted to do more like Let's Play style, um, but for speed builds, I don't really see it as that important as long as you can see like what's being built. The screenshots at the end though are turned up, are taken with the graphics on very high. So you do get to see at the end what it looks like if you have like all your like lighting effects on and stuff because The Sims 4 I think does a really good job if you can have the settings all the way up with their lighting. I think it makes everything look beautiful. It's like I think they it's I don't know off the top of my head but I, I know it's like the difference between like actually tracking a ray of light and creating specific shadows which is I think what happens when The Sims 4 graphics are turned all the way up versus um just like a generic wash of light and it really does make a difference in screenshots and builds so for the screenshots I made sure that I turned those all the way up this kitchen for me was really hard since the house is so small and I wanted it to feel not cozy but lived in but also not be incredibly cluttered so it was a weird balance. I um, I cut it out, but I tried like three or four different counters before I settled on these. And none of them, they all felt too modern. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm making really arbitrary assumptions on the astrological signs. But to me, they felt too modern. Like I think of Sagittarius as being like m more old school on the side. Whereas I would put like a Virgo in like a really like modern, clean home. So... I um, ended up with those counters, which are my favorite in the game. I use them all the time. And then also the Backsplash from Parenthood, which is another one of my favorites in the game. I use it constantly in pretty much every house. It's one of the only tiles we have that are actually like Backsplash height instead of being the whole wall tile. I think we got some also in Jungle Adventure that are like Backsplash height with um, tile and the top part wouldn't be. So if like you have wall above your cabinets, that wouldn't be tiled. But I don't know, growing up, I thought that everyone had backsplashes, but now that I live in the city, I realize that a lot of places just have like regular wall behind their cabinet. So maybe that's just something that's like I need to give up on because I do tend to put backsplashes in every build. I think it's just something that I'm used to. It's like where I live, everyone has them, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at my wall right now and it's just like literally like the sheetrock and paint or whatever it is. Like it's just like the same textured wall that's in the whole apartment. So I guess, you know, maybe I should just give up on that. I really do wish that The Sims would come out with a way to paint, like, instead of strips of wall, that we could have maybe, like, tiles, like, that are on the floor. So if you wanted to have just tiling, like, where your shower is, you could do that. Or just tiling and just the backsplash, but not have it go all the way up and all the way down the wall, you could do that. I think that that would be a little change that would really make a difference for builds for me personally at least and if you wanted to do like behind your paintings you could do like one square of like a pop of color and make it like a faux frame I think that that would be really nice but you know the sims we you you get what you get and you don't throw fit that's kind of how I feel about it I'm not going to complain about what they're giving us I mean like am I happy with all of it no but I also wasn't really like a Sims 2 or a Sims 3 player. I played Sims 3 on the PS3. That's how I got into The Sims. Um, but I remember that The Sims, the first time I ever heard about The Sims was in kindergarten. And we used to do this thing in PE where you would like walk around the gym. And I was walking next to one of my friends and he told me that his sister had gotten this game called The Sims 3. This was in like 2006 maybe. And his sister had gotten this game called The Sims 3 and she was obsessed with it. And I remember I went home and I begged my mom and my mom Googled it and saw that you could have babies in The Sims 3. So she bought me My Sims instead. So I played My Sims first on the Wii and then eventually I had my own money and I upgraded to The Sims 3 on a PS3, PS4, I don't remember. It was one of the PS's, like one of the PlayStations, I think a PlayStation 3. Um... And I loved it. I was in love with it. But I have really bad eyesight. So playing games on a console is really hard for me. Because usually the TVs are too far away. 
and I hadn't really discovered PC games yet. Um, and then I found the English Simmer on YouTube and she changed my life and she was doing her Sims 3 Generations Let's Play. I will never forget, had Jack Frost, had Elsa. I hated Elsa, but I loved her. I love that bitch. So I watched that entire series and I was in love with it. And then I was like, well, I have to have this game. Um, but I couldn't afford it. And I think that I played Minecraft a lot. My mom had got me Minecraft for Christmas. So at that time, I was like into Minecraft. I was like, this is it. I was like, Big Star 123, that's my man. I was like, Brinny Beast, shout out if you know who that is. Because he hasn't made content since like 2015, maybe. Maybe 2014. And I go on his Twitter every day and beg him to make content. Besides the point. So I was playing Minecraft. And I um, was watching The Sims on YouTube. And I really wanted to play it. And I was playing on my PlayStation. But I couldn't really see that well. And it made the game really unenjoyable. And then The Sims 4 came out. And I was like, this is my time to shine. I had been working as a nanny all summer. I, I had a job. I had an income. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm getting The Sims 4. And then the rest is history. So I'm not one of those people who's like, I've been playing for 20 years, but I definitely, you know, I've been a fan for a while. And I'm not really nostalgic for the other games. Anyway, we are coming up to the screenshots now. Thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. Shout out to Milena and Caitlin, because I know y'all will. Comment down below. And we are going to get into the screenshots. I hope you have a great day. And consider subscribing to this channel to see more content from me. And all right, that's all I have to say. Bye.